<laughs> Hello. Hello there. Posting tonight's topic. And once we do that, I'll start greeting all of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a show like no other. It's going to be a shit show tonight because I have had a roller coaster of a day. But I am so grateful to be here with all of you. Um, I, for Christmas, I bought Ben some improv classes because he wants to be like the queen. Um, well, we, we, we did take improv one and two together, but I strategically bought him the classes to take on Thursday nights. So he's not here. Isn't that amazing? We don't need Ben for every motherfucking thing. We know who y'all are here to see. Um, I did eat one and I count one bouillon cube earlier today. <sighs> it was like eating a spoonful of salt. Instant regret. Immediately after that, my dog's dog food started looking good. And I was like, I can't. I cannot listen to these instincts up in here, okay? <laughs> because it's bad. Um, but I will do something similar, right? So uh, here, I got my olives to go. Please spare me the unsolicited advice. I'm going to eat what I want. I love y'all, but you know, it's my show. Um, so tonight to kick off, ask Amber, let's start from the top, shall we? Hey, motherfuckers and now motherfuckers, niggas and non-niggas. We are in for a treat tonight because welcome to Ask Amber. Tonight's topic of discussion is going to be voiceover. <laughs> me, 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 niggas, 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 ha, ha, voiceover. So it's going to be a little bit of voiceover and a little bit of podcasting if you are interested in podcasting one day. Um, I am an amateur at almost everything I do, friends. I want you to know that, but you're, you're catching me on my come up. Okay, it's me season, says Issa Rae. So I want to always just be giving people advice because that'll save you at least a year or two of a bad, crunchy ass audio like I experienced myself. If you're not familiar with the format, I typically start off the show doing a little bit of a of an impersonation. Oh, give me one second. Take it to the punch. Hi -ya, cha, cha, cha. Okay, we're back. So I typically start off the show doing a little bit of an impersonation. I really couldn't really get any inspiration today, but I will tell you what I just did. I spent the better part of 30 minutes imagining a world where Maya Angelou, the queen, the queen mother, Maya Angelou was at a Megan the Stallion concert, right? This is how my mind works. So Maya Angelou goes to this Megan the Stallion concert and then Megan says, Maya, you're you're an icon. What are you doing at my show? I'm a fan of yours. But she she sound like this. Ah, ah, Maya, oh my God, you at my show. So she does that whole thing, right? And so she invites Maya Angelou on the stage and she gives Maya the mic and Maya does the lyrics, right? So if you're joining me, this is my best. Maya Angelou gets invited on stage to sing with Megan Thee Stallion. Here's the song. She gives her the mic and she's like, real hot girl shit. Ah. Bitch, I'm a star. I got these niggas wishing he say he hungry this pussy in the kitchen. Tell him, go put my name on that account. Because when I need money, I ain't trying to hold up. And I did that for, like I said, about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And it just got better and better and better. And then I was like, oh, shit, the show's about to start. So I, I leave you with that. Um, yeah, that's bad, right? I'm sure other people think about things like that. No. He know he giving his money to Megan. He know it's very expensive to date me. Oh, that's bad. All right. 
We love, we love Maya Angelou, but God, is her voice iconic. Speaking of iconic voices. So I already see some people in the chat. Oh, this is a new function on Instagram. There's a way to uh, earn some badges if you would love to tip, if you're being entertained. Come on down to the show. Um, a couple things to kick it off. If you're wondering about some equipment that I use, this right here, if you're a new podcaster, this is an audio box, friends. Change your life, mine. Change your life. This is a Scarlet 212. Um, the brand is Focus Right. I'm not sure if this is backwards for y'all or not. I don't know. It's backwards for me right now. Focus Right, okay? This will just enhance your sound. You can hook this up to your mics instead of just like recording an MP3 on your phone. Um, this is, I think, one of the best ones in the business. I literally saw this on, um, if you ever saw Bo Burnham's documentary on Netflix, I was like, what are the people who I watch? What are the comedians that I watch? What the fuck are they using? Okay, I see this in Bo Burnham. I'm gonna, I'm sure Focus Right stock went up when that uh, dropped. But this is the audio interface I use. It just makes that voice sound so nice and smooth. Let's, let's. Um, and then secondly, I do, uh, where is she? I do a Rode pod mic. I use this microphone to record voiceover auditions and I, we also use this microphone, Rode right here. Uh, we also use this microphone to uh, record our podcast, the Sci-Fi Side podcast. Go follow if you have time. Okay, I see some people in the chat, so I'm gonna hop on. Oh my God, greetings from the UK. It's like 1 a.m. there or something, right? So, damn, y'all up. All right, I think I got somebody in. Mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna make sure y'all can see a whore. I think y'all can see me, right? Hello. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, that was fast. I think I gave her some really good advice there. She's almost at it. She just needs a little bit more encouragement, right? Um, greetings from Colorado. We'll do some quick round the way shout outs. Um, anybody else wanna hop on the chat? Is all of this written somewhere? Mm -hmm. On this sticky note. Uh, so if you want me to quickly review that while we get that caller back in, we got, if also if people that, if you're listening, just type it in there. Like we're a community, right? We're an ecosystem, right? So road pod mics, these bad boys. Now what hooks into the back of this? It is called an XLR cable. Let's try that again. An XLR cable. Okay. Pod mic. An XLR cable. Hey, Courtney. And then this is the Focus Right audio box. Focus Right audio box. Okay, I'm seeing some people. It, it's like people are requesting to join, and then they're not requesting to join. So please join in. This is we're all family here. I really do like to think about followers as like, you know, like legit friends. Like some, like you don't, you don't ever want your followers to completely drive the content or you don't want all of your content to be based on followers or at least that's not something that i want but every now and then the followers have some really great advice really great suggestions and so you sometimes you listen in you look at your analytics and you look at a couple of those things and you say like that's actually a really great idea i had a followers um suggest that i do like a nails highlight for just when i go get my nails and i was like you know what i'm gonna do that um i had a follower suggest i put all of my tiktoks on youtube shorts i was like why not what's the harm i'm making them anyway what's let's just see what happens so some of those are great now some of your followers are going to tell you uh ben's getting fat uh y'all are toxic you know you gotta ignore all of those but sometimes followers have some really good advice about things and you should listen uh the topic is pinned below hopefully you can see that uh, I got some more people joining in, so I'm just slowly letting y'all in. Hopefully you're ready. Hopefully you're ready. Let's get these olives open. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. What is your name? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you I'm fine and dandy. I'm parking lot, so excuse the sound if it goes out. <laughs> Where are you? It's daylight there. <laughs> in the, uh, California. Oh, nice. Greetings. What is your name, friend? Oh, my name is Ramika, or Mommy High Hill is my tag, of course. Have we talked before? We did. I think it might have been a couple of weeks ago or last week when you were giving advice about uh, starting content. And yes, stuff. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not completely all gone there. I'm not completely no. all gone. The baby Welcome hasn't back. taken all your brain away yet. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's <laughs> we're halfway there, you know. Okay. Uh, but welcome back. What's going on, Thanks. Ramika? Okay, so 
just based on the topic at hand, um, my question would be more so about voiceovers. I've recently tried to get into doing voiceovers for not necessarily podcasting and things like that, but uh, audibles, books and things. And I wondered if you had any uh, help for how to switch your voices, because I know when I do the auditions, I have to give different tones and uh, mm -hmm. different voices, and I'm not sure how to do it. I mean, I have some idea because I read books. I used to be a daycare provider, so I could switch my voice to be different characters at times. But if there's some advice that you could give me and other people that are wondering, of course. Ramika, that is an amazing question. <laughs> um, if you're just joining, Ramika asked about switching voices for different characters. What I am really good at doing, or I won't say really good at, something that I like to do a lot is to make the characters people that I know. Can you still see me? Mm -hmm. The wheel's spinning. So yeah. I am really good be because, let me back up. What's less important than the character's voice is the character's mantra, okay? Okay. So, and I learned this in an acting class. Because sometimes we get caught, we'll, we'll say to ourselves like, oh, I know this person. They like to order a, a oat milk latte every day. They drive a Ford Focus. Like, I know the things that they do. But when, they, what, what, but when this character wakes up in the morning, what is the thing that they would say in the mirror? That's something okay. that I use. So, so that's one. Two is make it somebody you know, okay? Because that will change it up. So I know I can always be my mother, my father, <laughs> my best childhood friend, and one of my line sisters. Like, so it, it would be very easy for me to imitate those people. I can also imitate Ben really well. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just like, <laughs> like, not only do I know his mannerisms at this point, I know he wakes up in the morning and says, like, I'm dreading going to work, but what's worse? Being here with Amber all day or going to work? You know what I'm saying? So you can sort of tap into, like, like right now, if I ask you, this is a truly taken from an acting teacher I had. If I ask you right now, you've seen uh, Black Panther, right? Mm -hmm. If T'Challa were to wake up and look in the mirror every morning, what would he say to himself, in your opinion? Ooh. I think he would have to say something around what, he, what his goal is to do for that day. He needs to motivate his people. He needs to be strong and stand tall uh, to fight the big fight. <laughs> Perfect. And I know if I asked you, what would Jessica Rabbit say in the mirror? You know, just from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> My mother has a tattoo of her. Right. What would Jessica Rabbit say? Or, or what would Jocelyn Hernandez say in the mirror? Ooh. <laughs> Come here, Stevie. I need some more money. Correct. So do you see how your voice would change based on like, and please, I see some people typing in the chat. Please type what T'Challa would say versus what like a Jessica Rabbit Jocelyn would say. And I promise you, based on those characters' mantras, you will change your voice. Because there's a very different energy of I'm a leader, I'm a king, I'm here to protect my family than like, let's get this money, the choreography. Like, those are two different energies like <laughs> this one's about family Definitely. this one's about self and when people have different mm -hmm. motivations they talk different yeah their whole demeanor is different yes yeah, so if i were you because i i have not done an audio book yet but i listen to them so regularly like training myself for them what i try to do is say to myself okay if i got an audio book audition the the grandmother in this story would be my mother or just like a mm -hmm. matronly figure. And the child in this story would be my little cousin. And so how can I channel those different energies? Because because I think it's less about the tone you sometimes. Can hear. So right, it's right. To translate. Okay. Yes. That makes so, sense. Uh, I do that with auditions too. I'll, I have a, a old yoga studio manager who has a very, just like, 
a housewife mom mentality. She was like, oh, Amber. It's like, like she, you look at her, you'd be like, you had a couple Xanaxes this morning. Like, <laughs> it's just, the energy is different. And she's wonderful. Uh, but it's like, she doesn't sound like my mother. Like, these are both mothers. They both have families. They're both great people. But the energy is different. So I say, like, find the essence and the character's mantra and then go from there. OK. I could definitely work with that somewhere to get me started. Yes, yes. And literally write down, like, this is Diane, and this is Deborah. You know, like, write those two characters' names down, Ramika. Will do. Thank you. I always love coming in on your lives. It's really fun and awesome. I appreciate Thursdays just for this. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much! And keep, so, so you're waiting for a, a child, I'm guessing they're in a sports, a gymnastics maybe? Was that right? No, I was last time. This time, okay. I am just taking a break from uh, doing other things, and I just happened to be in the parking lot. I was eating lunch, actually. <laughs> Ain't nothing like eating lunch in your car. Oh, it's the, my God. If I eat it in my car, my kids can't get to it. If I take it's, it home, it's like sex I ain't going to have it for lunch in the car. <laughs> eating lunch in your car is just a different high. Yes. I it enjoy is. it way so, more than I probably should. <laughs> oh, it, it's criminal. So please continue enjoying that meal. And if you're out of it, just go get another meal. We, we love you. We appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll see Bye, you again next time. Bye. Yep, yep. <laughs>